Hey there, stampers. Thanks for joining us. Today we're going to make this darling card. I am I just love this little bear. Look at her and her little outfit like she's going to school. So, so cute. First, we're going to die cut our bear and her clothing and accessories. And I'm going to show you a little trick on how to do this all in one shot, in the big shot. First, I'm going to take the Big's Bear die, which is going to be our main bear. It's got a little face here, and I'm going to put some Craft Naturals cardstock there. And then I'm putting some soft suede over our bear. Our bear is going to be soft suede. Next, I have the Berry Essentials here, and I love this, love this die. It is just so cute. I love all the little pieces that go along with it. And I'm using some of the Autumn Meadows designer paper from Stampin' Up. Autumn Meadows was featured in the um, holiday mini catalog and um, just super cute. It's got a lot of great fall designs, but I just loved this pattern. I thought it looked so cute on there. So I've taken the little pieces, some ivory, naturals cardstock, some black for her feet here, and just layered them onto the Biggs die. Here's my tip. I am actually taking the Biggs XL cutting pads from the big dies that Stampin' Up! carries, and I'm going to layer one of the Biggs cutting pads underneath and one of the Biggs cutting pads on top of both of these and we're going to punch them both out together. I'm going to go ahead and put this whole sandwich, the two cutting pads and the, the Biggs XL die onto the Big Shot. Crank the handle and when we're done I'm just going to take off the cutting pads and we should have all of our pieces. Here are all the pieces that we just got through that one cut in the Big Shot. We got our soft suede bear and his little craft face that's going to layer right on top here. We have our shirt, our two little shirt sleeves and our skirt for her outfit and her two little shoes. Now on our card there is the bow here and the purse that will come from a separate die that we'll do in just a minute. But in the meantime we're going to assemble our bear. When you're using um, the Big Shot Build-A-Bear products Mini glue dots are going to be your best friend. So I'm just going to go ahead and stick his little no her little her little nose to the mini glue dots. And once that's down, we can put together her little clothes with the mini glue dots again. Just stick the, the shirt sleeves right onto those mini glue dots and pop them on her shirt. There's one. I hand too. And the shirt itself I'll put on the shirt itself I'll put some snail. Line that up and put her little skirt on. And the shoes, the shoes are another candidate for mini glue dots. Stick that right to the dot. And then we have her base. Now for the back of her face, for her eyes and nose, I came up with a great little trick. Here's some chocolate chip cardstock, and this is the one inch circle punch. So I punched out a one inch circle, and I'm just going to stick that right, and I'll use some snail here, right behind her face. When you turn it around, voila! No, I have stuck that on, and I forgot to stick in this little pink piece, because I want her to have a little pink mouth, because she's a cute little girl, so we'll stick that right up in there. So now she's all set. Now we need to do her bow and her purse. So for the bow and the purse, I'm taking a little sizzlet die called Stampin' Up! Berry Girl, and I put some of the designer paper over the pocketbook and the bow. And then I'm going to put them right on my multi-purpose platform on tab one. And sandwich in between two cutting pads. And then we'll just slide that right into the big shot and turn it through. And when we're done, we'll just take our cutting pad off and we have our little pocketbook and over here, our little bow. The bow will just stick on with a mini glue dot right into her little hair. The pocketbook I wanted to embellish a little bit. So I took one of the 5 and 16th inch breads from the neutral assortment and that will be her purse. For her belt, this is just a little piece of craft taffeta ribbon from Stampin' Up! I'm going to attach this with mini glue dots. I'm just going to stick the ribbon right to the glue dot and then we'll go right around her body. Some fun latte buttons and we'll take 
this cute little flower and we'll stick that right to a mini glue dot so it's right on the back and stick that right down. For our background I'm taking some of our Bermuda Bay cardstock and I am using the large dots from Stampin' Up's texture plates for the Sizzix Big Shot. I'm going to stick that right onto the front. I'm going to put the rubber silicone mat right over that. And here's a little trick. I'm going to take the cutting pad instead of the impressions pad. Layer this on top of the Sizzix multi-purpose platform that comes with the Big Shot. Okay, we'll put that right into the machine. It's going to take a little bit more muscle, but it's going to be worth it in the end. When I'm done, Look at that. It's got great texture to the background. I'm going to want to take two, these are five and a half by one inch strips of basic black. And this is our eyelet border punch. I like to do this upside down so I can see exactly where I'm punching. I'm going to zoom this in so that you can see what's happening. I'm going to move it down so that the last section lines up inside here and just go right across and keep doing that same motion all the way down our cardstock. We have a perfectly punched piece and this is going to go underneath the blue like that. Now we'll need two of these. Once we have our two strips I'm going to turn over our piece of Bermuda Bay Line the back on either side with snail. And then layer this strip on either side. Now I'm not going to put too much pressure on it until I flip it over and make sure that it's layered. See how this one isn't layered straight? We'll just double check that. Now, I have both of these on here, but I have a tiny piece of overhang on this one. So I'm just going to take my favorite scissors here and just trim that right off. And because I love a little bit of pop, I'm going to put her on some Stampin' Dimensionals. And then I'll just peel off the protective backing. We'll place our little girl right on the car. And the first little dimensional. We'll put that right under her like she's swinging it. And that's all there is to the adorable little card. Have fun. Visit us again.